Something I like about him, again, is his trustworthiness, his depth of character and how he's always thinking. Um, the thing I don't like about him is the fact that he's always thinking. Because uh, sometimes he thinks a little bit too much. But, uh... I'm sorry. Hi, uh, my name is Matthew Silalahi and I'm a junior here at Rangeview. I spent most of my childhood here in America. I did live in Indonesia for a year and a half, which was in 2011. Uh, that was when my dad got deported. I realized the education there was not as good as it is here in America, so, so I moved back here, leaving my parents. Okay, so I've known Matthew for about half a year, and my first impression about him was I thought he was going to be kind of like the uh, nerdy Asian kid. I was very wrong. I think a character trait that stood out for Matthew with me is that he's very directed. He's kind of driven. He does not want to give up even if it's difficult and he thinks it's falling apart. He wants to figure out how can he fix it. At the beginning of the year he was so intrigued by breakdancing and wasn't really like that strong into it but like the year came by and he's already improved so much. He's very dependable and I can rely on him for I trust him a lot. When I think about Matthew, I think of a student with a very good sense of humor because he always likes to ask unique questions and he always likes to laugh at jokes and make jokes. He's very respectful, he's intelligent and helpful. And one thing I don't like about him is that he's extra bold. There's a difference between bold and extra bold and Matthew is extra bold. Yeah, he thinks a little too much sometimes and kind of gets in the way of his more logical thinking. Well, what makes it hard to stay here is really living without your parents because it's different. The motivation is hard to find sometimes to continue. Uh, my mom has been a very influential person in my life and she tends to inspire me and motivate me in times of trouble. She really taught me a lot of things in life, especially through music. She would always inspire me to continue with music. But that all kind of changed the way she started getting sick back in 2015. When I heard about she was sick and everything, I was like, oh, it's okay, she'll be healed soon, she'll feel better. But then it got worse until 2017, she passed away. It just kind of shocked me because you never think about it. Like, you think that out of the 7 billion people in this world, uh, your mom wouldn't be the one to pass away during her time of growing up. My goal in life is really just to show that you can really do anything and, and everything's possible as long as you have the heart to do it and you have the motivation to do it. If you're going through something and you feel like you can't overcome it, you definitely can. It may just take a while, but everything happens for a reason. Just keep pushing towards your goal and your dream and you'll make it. My parents really love you, Matthew. There's people there for you, man. He's, he may not be the smartest or the brightest, but he's my little brother through and through. So.